<laughs> What's wrong, madam? You could tell me. I fear nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> hey, how'd you sleep last night? One of the neighbors down the street opened a drawer, and that woke me up at 4.30 in the morning. And as you know, that means you just can't go back to sleep. How about you? Well, first I had a nap, and then I slept the whole night. I'm asleep right now. You're s What? Hey, didn't I tell you to do them dishes? I will, in like five minutes after this game. No, pause the game and do them now. Dad, I can't pause an online game. Let me see. <laughs> no! Yo, what, what just Who happened? the game? I was on a 25 kill streak. Who was gobbling their mic? Now do them damn dishes. Dad, how did you pause the game? Do them dishes, I'm gonna do that ass. Hey babe, the kids won't eat these brown bananas. Cause mommy doesn't love you. What the fuck? Hey, it's the guy who's deathly allergic to owls. Who? Uh, who? Stop! The most pointless law is how cell phone jammers are illegal. It's like 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, this guy has a cell phone jammer. Well, tell him it's not working. A man was driving in the middle of nowhere when he got a flat tire. He came to a monk monastery. He asked the monk for refuge, and the monk let him stay the night. While he was asleep, he heard a noise. Not just any noise, but the most loudest, most wonderful, most beautiful noise he had ever heard. He wanted to see what it was, but there was just a giant locked door. He asked the monk what was behind the door, but the monk said, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. The next morning, he heard the noise again. He again asked the monk what it was, but the monk just replied, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. He said, how do I become a monk? The monk said, it is very hard and might take many years. But he had to know what was behind that door, so he agreed. For the next 50 years, he trained to be a monk. Finally, the monk gave him the key to the door, and he saw what was making that noise. But I, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. What are we gonna say the next time someone breaks our heart? Thank you for the trauma, I need it for my art. No! Uh, I was never good enough to begin with. No! Jesus Christ! Oh my God, are you mad? No. I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean to make you mad! I, I can change. I can change. I'm not mad! Oh my God, you're yelling? I knew you were mad. <laughs> Use your brain! Use your brain! Use your brain! The thing in your head, use it! Fucking idiot! Mom, can you please hurry up a bit? I I'm gonna be late for school. No, no, honey. The priority is to get there safe and alive. We don't want to jeopardize our safety now, do we? No. But you're going under the speed limit. Like I always say, better safe than sorry. Oh my god, mom, slow down! Shut the fuck up, okay? No late for school! Jesus, where'd you learn to drive like this? GTA 5, motherfucker! Mom, watch out, there's kids playing on the streets! Fuck a yeah, bitch, 25 points! Stop! 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 I've run hundreds of miles! I've run through the deserts, I've run through the mountains to deliver you this message. What you up to? Oh, okay. Uh, could you reply, not much, what about you? Not much, what about you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'll see you in 10 years. Bye. Ooh, you know what I feel like we should do? I think we should just add letters to maths. Why would you want to do that? Maths is already hard enough, we don't need letters. Mmm, but I just really feel like we should ruin, like, the educational experience for generations in the future. I just think it has to be done. Would you flip it if heads meant you got $10 billion, but tails meant you die instantly? Of course I would flip that. 50% chance to solve all my problems. Worst case, I get $10 billion. You ready to exchange gifts? Yes, I'm going first. All right. Okay, so it's not much, but it's the thought that counts. I bought you 10 pair of Dior sneakers, a Moose Knuckles because it's getting cold, and an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I know it's not much, I'm sorry, but... Oh, oh, I also bought you a Benz and a Mansion. Okay, your turn. <gasps> oh my god, babe! I love it! That is so... Number one, can you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Oh, okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. It ain't nothing but a heart. Tell me why. 
nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I want it that way. Chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot we were doing that. Darling, I have a question I really want to ask you before I pass away. Will you answer me truthfully? Anything you want, my love. How many other men have you kissed in your life? I've only ever kissed a total of eight men in my life. And is that including me? So it's seven? And I'm the eighth? No. You're the fourth. When you open your eyes and realize you're alive, that's a fuck! Good evening, yes, sir. How can I help you? Hello. Yes, sir. Excuse me, um, uh, actually my, my, my English is not good. Okay. Um, but uh, you know uh, Tom and Jerry? Yes, the cartoon? Yeah, uh, Jerry is here in my room. I'm sorry? Jerry, Jerry is here in my room. You have a mouse in the room? Yeah. Please, uh, come here and uh, when, you uh, when you come here, uh, bring uh, Tom with you. We don't have Tom in the hotel. Okay, uh, come please. Okay. Hey bro, you wanna hear a joke? Yeah. <clears throat> Yo mama's so fat. My mom's dead. Yo daddy's so... He killed my mom. Uh, oh, your dog is so... He killed my dog too. Your uncle... Him too. Dude! And he took my virginity. Hold up, your dad or your uncle? Yes. Dude, your dad is a criminal! Yep, he's a bad man. Who is he? The head of the mafia? Yes. He is also responsible for the coronavirus and opioid crisis. You're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Damn, y'all depressed as fuck. You didn't clap either. Shut up. I don't like to study. Studying's not what I do. But if I fail my test, my mama going to use kung fu. Do you drink? No. Are you sure? I mean, like, at, like casually, like at a party or a wedding or something like that. You know, right? At like my house, alone, every night. What do you drink? Just like a glass of wine at dinner. Okay, that's healthy. And then a shot of tequila. Okay. And then another shot. Um. And then a few more. And then some more. And then I usually pass out. Then I wake up. And I take a few more. So the answer is yes. Yeah, I drink. Hey CJ, I'm about to run to the grocery store real quick. Did you need anything while I was out? Yeah, let, let me get No! Up. You get nothing! You always ask and expect! And I'm, I always give and give and give and I never receive. You, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to give me any. You don't have to give me anything from the store. It's fine. I don't need anything. I'm fine. You get nothing. Okay, I'll be back. You. Yep. I screwed these brownies. Screwed up. You mean? Screwed up, right? Up. Up. Screwed up! Nope. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? I'm making a picture of a dog on a unicycle, man. <laughs> that's, that's actually really cool. I know, come here, look, look at it. <laughs> that's awesome. What is that? AI? Yeah, it is. Nice. That is, oh my god. Your Honor, why am I here? Lucas, we received some pretty hardcore evidence against you. I'll just play that here. Hey guys, it's me, Lucas. I did it. I committed the crime. Would you care to explain yourself? Okay, that, that's not real. That's that's not a real video. Well, Lucas, there's more to the video. I'll just show you that. You know, right now, I'm probably trying to say, oh, it's AI. It's not. It It's real. Okay, Your Honor, this is ridiculous. I, uh, Your Honor, look, look, look behind you. Look, behind, look at your screen, please. I bet that the judge is balding. I didn't say that. I bet he has a really stupid shirt on. Runner, that's not me. Hey, Judge, where'd you get your shirt from? The stupid shirt store? <laughs> I think it's lovely. I bet you did. <laughs> your Honor, I, I... just want somebody. <sighs> I just want somebody to jiggle my balls. Run my balls. Hold it. Talk to it. I'm not cheating. You are. I I'm not. To... I have the text. Read the text. Read the text. I miss you, come over? Yeah, I haven't seen her in ages, not a big deal. Last time, you tasted so good. Oh, she literally works at a restaurant. Her beef wellington is insane, not a big deal. 
You make me bust so hard. Of laughter. You have a voice memo. No, I don't have a voice memo that I said. Baby, you are so sexy. I love what you do to me. I love what you do to me. Listen, come over tonight. My girlfriend's not in town. She doesn't have to know about it. Okay. That's a song lyric that I was saying. These are not song lyrics, by the way. Okay, I don't know about that. I'm in my 20s, but my life is so lame. Do you party? No. Do you date? No. Do you go out with your friends? No. Do you have roommates? Yeah. Okay, so like you go out with your roommates? No. They're my parents. They hate me. Hey, man. Hey, Max. What's going on? So, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay, give me the bad news. Not gonna make much sense. I'm a man! I can take the bad news! Give me the bad news! Well, it died on the way here. What is that? Well, what's the good news? You know that bird you wanted for your birthday? Yeah? Well, I got it! No! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, man. Wait, hold- A man walks up to a bartender and says, I bet you $5,000 I can be in a cup across your bar without missing. The bartender doesn't think this is possible, so he takes the bet. So the man starts peeing, and the pee goes all over the bar, it even goes over the bartender, but nowhere near the cup. So the bartender starts cheering, knowing he just won $5,000. So the man walks over to his friend, then walks over to the bartender, and pays him his $5,000. The bartender asks him, why are you so happy you just lost $5,000? Well, I bet my friend $10,000 that I could pee all over your bar and you, and you would still cheer. Can you show us where the candy land is? It's really right behind you. Are you stupid? Why are you looking at me like that? You got a staring okay, problem? Bro, obviously, it's right behind us. We're not stupid. So what took you so long to answer? Because the show's for little kids. Yeah? If I was a kid, I would have found that in the same time anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're a grown-ass man watching Dora the Explorer. So? Explore. What, what are you doing? What? You're playing this Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm making doing? bank. I'm making money doing this shit. What are you doing? You're on your couch doing nothing. Oh, okay. You're okay. doing you nothing. Right now? You want something? Hey, son. 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 You want something? What was that? Jesus Christ. What did you get on 12? Uh, I think I got 20. You got 20? Yeah. I, it wasn't a number-based question. I was trying to cheat off you, though. Why would you cheat off me? I didn't study. I don't know. I didn't study either. I thought okay, you Okay, well, we're both do. failing because I was cheating off you. Uh, ah! What did you get for 20? 20? It only went to, it only went to 15. What are you did you not see the back? There was a back? <laughs> yeah, there was a back. Oh, my God. The majority oh, of the questions good. were on the back. How do you I miss mean, the entire back? What the hell was that? It was terrible. Okay. How did you do? Well, I just drew anime girls all over my test because I don't know what was going on. Okay. Why? Well, it's like a cry for help. I was hoping the teacher would see it and then ask me, hey, do you want to talk after class and stuff? Does that usually work? Or... Yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what took you so long? I was in there calculating what grade I would get depending on how many questions I got right. I needed 367 to pass. Oh. Do you think you got that? Or you got like a 20 something? Okay, oh my. Jeez, wow. Right? That's so Why was there a written question? It's a math test. It's not a math test. The back was bad. All oh, right, class. So what is the powerhouse of the cell? Oh, I'm in this one. The, the mitochondria. Now <laughs> 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 doesn't even know the nutrients. Literally, that's not even correct. Flipping Nimrod. Simmer down. Simmer down. Joel is correct. Yes! Oh, you laughed at me. Yeah? Shh. You're not laughing anymore. Welcome to heaven. Now the first big rule is do not eat any apples from the forbidden tree. What happens if we eat the apple? Well, you'll still be allowed to stay in heaven, but I'll be very annoyed. Okay, no problem. Now you both never married, so as a reward for all the good deeds you've done in life, I'm going to find you a wife to spend it at- Oh, for goodness sake! What? I can see you eating the forbidden fruit, but I can't kick you out of heaven because it's against my morals. Okay? The only way for me to vent my anger at you is to give you an absolute hippocrocker pig of a wife. Now, since you didn't steal my apple, I have found an absolutely beautiful wife to be your companion. Wow, you look amazing. I can't believe I get to be with somebody as beautiful as you. I know, all I did was eat an apple from a tree. This is someone whose brother goes by it pronouns that won't be able to go to an upcoming party running into me. Oh, how's it going? It can't- So this guy thinks his wife is cheating on him. Now, he doesn't know for sure, so to confirm his suspicion, he waits for her to, uh, leave later that night. He calls an Uber, and they follow her together. Now, by following her, they find out she's working as a hooker in a, a whorehouse. 
He looks at the Uber driver and says, hey, dude, you want to make 100 bucks? And the guy says, sure, what do I have to do? He says, I want you to go into the whorehouse. I want you to grab my wife, bring her out, put her in the trunk, and take us both home. The Uber driver goes, yeah, sure. So he goes inside. A couple minutes later, the door kicks open, and he's carrying this girl. She's biting. She's kicking. She's clawing. He opens the uh, door to his car and throws her in on top of the guy and says, here, hold her. And the guy looks at her and looks up. He's like, but this isn't my wife. And the Uber driver goes, yeah, I know. It's mine. I'm going to go back for yours. Help me. I'm over here. Don't you worry, pirate. You won't be stranded on this island for any longer. Actually, I'm not a pirate. Oh, really? Then what's with the wooden leg? Oh, I tried to swim off this island, but then a shark attacked me and bit off my leg, so I had to replace it with a plank of wood. Well, what about the hand? Well, I was out looking for food. A snake bit me, so I had to cut off my hand and replace it with this hook. Okay, but what about the eye patch? That's from seagull poop. Seagull poop makes you lose your eye? No, but it was my first day with the hook. Oh. You know, I was thinking the other day, what's your biggest fear? Uh, uh, I don't know if I can tell you. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, come on, let it out. I won't tell anyone. All right, bro. I'm terrified of people throwing up. People throwing up. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Never mind. All right. Um, you want to play ball? <laughs> what? This waitress asked me a stupid question the other day. She said, "How did you find your steak, sir?" I said, "Well, just look next to the potatoes, and there it was." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm an innocent man. I was framed because I didn't do it. I didn't. For being do guilty, it. I sentenced you to 40 years in Norway prison. <laughs> Wait, Norway prison, like the one with the TV and the water fountain and, and swimming pool? Yeah, that's the one. But if you claim to be not guilty, I can rearrange a retrial for you if that's what you want. I'm guilty. So much has changed since my girlfriend told me we were having a baby. For instance, my name, address, telephone number. <laughs> hey, what about my man? Who? Me? Uh, he's perfect, fam. He looks like a nerd blood. No, he looks like he clasps hot chocolate with two hands. No. Now he looks like he licks envelope glue for the taste. <laughs> it looks like he plays Dungeons and Dragons and Sims 2. That's the best one. What? I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. What he looks like is. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. What? What going on, fam? Are, are you good, fam? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Because I'm dead. I've died. Is that me? Is, is that my? Is that my body? So I come on, bro. How did you? Am I? Am I sending? Where's my legs? No, bro. You know, why am I going up, though? Realistically, I should... Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just kept my mouth shut. I understand completely. No. Nope. I don't... I'm, it was worth a shot. Isn't it? All right, I'm home. If anybody broke in while I was gone, get the fuck out. Great, now I gotta kill you. Why? Just leave. How do I know when I come down? You're not gonna hit me with a baseball bat or something. My baseball bat is upstairs in the closet. Not anymore. Also, I wasn't supposed to leave the door unlocked, so if my mom finds out someone broke in, I'm gonna be in trouble too. The door was unlocked. Don't look at the bedroom window. Listen, please, just get out. There's a guy next door named Theodore. He collects shotguns, and he's so nuts. If he hears you, he'll probably come over and shoot both of us. But you're gonna see my face when I'm leaving, so you'll probably report me to the police once I'm gone. How would I see your face if you stole my glasses? I didn't take your glasses. I left them on that table before I left, and now they're gone. What table? Oh shit, I think I'm in the wrong house. What's in whose house is this? Theodore. <laughs> Timothy and Zendaya would never work out. Oh bro, he's an upgrade. Timothy's a good looking dude. Tom's just cute. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> oh my god. 911, what's your emergency? My friend is frozen in time. You didn't say pause, did you? I guess I accidentally did What have you done? I don't know, my friend was just calling Tom Holland cute. No, pause. <laughs> Hello? Yo, I know, college is boring, bro. Oh, Fuck. God, bro. Hey, but what'd you get on the test, though? The test? Oh, I got 100. Damn. Wait, did you study? Nah, I cheated. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> I feel you on that. Yeah, bro, I cheated on all my tests. All of them? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Shit, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Facts on God. What are you planning to do after this, though? Me? <laughs> I'm gonna be a brain surgeon. You know, working on brains and shit. But brain, brain surgeon. Yes, sir. Gotta make that money, man. But you, you, you said you cheat on all your. Yeah, bro. Fuck, I'm gonna study for. You it. realize you gotta operate on like real people. Out yes, there, so I know, bro. You gotta like, actually do your job. Blah blah blah, man. I'm getting to the fucking bag. Oh, okay.
Yo, mom made food. I'll be out in a minute. Why is it so dark in here, bro? You <laughs> good? I am having the worst day of my life. It couldn't be worse than my day. Really? Well, I just got fired from my dream job. That sucks. But my doctor just diagnosed me with terminal illness. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But second of all, my girlfriend of five years also just broke up with me today. Sorry about your girlfriend, but my wife just filed for divorce papers because oh she gosh, couldn't handle me being that's sick. horrible. But I also forgot to mention that my girlfriend broke up with me while I was proposing to her. She threw the engagement ring into the river that I spent my entire life saving Sorry, on. I wasn't listening. I just got a call that my entire house burned down. Wait a minute, you had a house? I live in a compost bin next to the freeway fighting crackheads. Oh, really? I just got a second call that my entire family was in that house. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm giving you guys a million dollars. Thank you, Mr. Beast, but I think you should give my money to my friend over here who's having his worst day. Right? No, you should take the money. I'm terminally... Guys, you're both getting a million dollars. This is your best day ever. We're having Don't the worst day. day. You're, you're not changing that. Doctor, am I going to be okay? Yes, as long as you take these pills. Thank you so much. Wait. Yeah? How often should I take them? Oh, right. Take one a day. Okay, and for how long? For the rest of your life. Okay, I can do that. Wait, there's only three left. Exactly. <gasps> okay, I need someone to act like they're attacking me. Louise, how about you? Me? Oh, okay. That's right. Just come at me. Hi, yeah. <laughs> okay, did everyone see what I did there? Yes, Daddy? Why didn't you tell us that your brother was in a gang? Wait, he's in a gang? <laughs> Wow, what a failure he turned out to be. Like, ew. Man, shut up! Keisha, you shouldn't be talking. You're in the gang too. What? No, I'm not, little boy. Yes, you are. Boy, what you running your mouth about? Mommy, I overheard her sister talking to her friends, and she says she got gang banged. She what? Yeah, gang banging is only for gang members, mommy. Now that I think about it, she did have a bunch of guys over here the other day while you was at work. Mom, he's lying. Girl, shut your mouth. Boy, continue. Yeah, and then they all went in her room and started to fight. I heard a lot of banging and the bed moving, and then they all was screaming, me next, me next, me next. I think she had to fight all the guys for the gang initiation. I just got a call from my mom, my... My dad died. Shit, man. Did someone say shit, man? <laughs> Bad timing, man. <laughs> We're giving you the electric wheelchair. Ooh, how fast does it go? No, it's just the electric chair, but for disabled people. Why do they put wheels on? I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, good point. Well, I guess this is gonna suck. Wait till you reach the stairway to heaven. A woman was three months pregnant when she fell into a deep coma and woke up after six months. The woman asked the doctor about her babies. The doctor said, you had twins, a boy and a girl. They're both fine. And your brother named them for you. The woman replies with, no, 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 not my brother. He's an idiot. What did he name the girl? Denise, the doctor says. Oh. Actually, that's not that bad. What about the boy? The nephew. I am a genie. You have three wishes. No way. Oh, I got the perfect wish. Okay. Okay, so I wish that every time I reach in my pocket, I pull out $100. All right. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> it works. Wait, someone broke into my house. I'm calling the police. are you doing? This is the pig I've been sleeping with. That's a duck. I wasn't talking to you. So this man decided to get a facelift. He was so pleased with the results that as soon as he stepped out of the building, he asked the first person he seen, how old do I look? The man said, uh, about 36. He said, no, nah, I'm 55. I appreciate it though. Thank you. So he was in McDonald's. As soon as he got to the cashier, he said, how old do I look? She said, you about in your early 30s? He said, nah, I'm 55, but I appreciate it, though. So he was at the bus stop seeing his little old lady. He said, 
Excuse me, ma'am. He said, how old do you think I look? She said, baby, I'm 85 years old. My eyesight ain't like it used to be. She said, but back in the days, I used to reach in a man's pants, feel around for a couple minutes, and I could tell him his exact age. He said, no, you can't. She said, yes, I can. He looked around. He ain't see nobody. He said, go ahead. She stuck her hand in his pants, feel around for a minute. She said, you 55. He said, what the... She said, I'm just messing with you. I was standing behind you at McDonald's. You know, most people agree that dying in your sleep is the best way to go. There's no signs of torture, no signs of pain. You just pass away peacefully. And my grandma used to say that that's angels carrying you up to heaven when you go like that. But she also said that sometimes the angels were clumsy and they would drop you by accident. Hey, remember that time when you were sleeping and you felt like you were falling and then you suddenly woke up? Okay, guys, you should know this because we went over this long enough. Uh, what is the square root of 200? Easy. Anybody know? Yes, Trey. 75. No! No! Damn it! My God! Why are you always wrong? You raise your hand. Wrong. You was born. Wrong. It is wrong that I even have to look in your face! You have been the slowest I have ever taught! And I taught four special ed classes in my lifetime! Gosh! Why can't you be like Chung Su? Huh? Every time Chung Su raised her hand, she is right! Cause she listens! God, I hate you! Ah! Hey, you were in my dream. Ew, you're dreaming about me? No, not like that. Then what were we doing? Actually, I don't think you want to know. Exactly. You're nasty. No. You got a dirty mind. You need the Lord. No, that wasn't the dream. Then what happened? I killed you. Oh, yeah, but um, I do have one question. Sure. Can you make my dreams come true? Wait, what? Hey, you were in my dream. Ew! Dude, I think my girlfriend's really mad at me. Wait, why? I don't know. She's just been giving me angry looks all day. Ask her what's wrong. Um, Jessica, did I do something? Like, it seems like you're mad at me. Really? So you're just gonna pretend like you don't know what you did? I don't know. Like, what did I do? Oh, I don't know. Break up with me over this stupid letter? I didn't write that. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Dear Jessica, I know we've been together for a while, but I think we should end. As in, right now. If I could end us yesterday, I would. But I can't go back in time, so I'll do it right now. Good, but... But goodbye. Thank you. You did this. <coughs> Why? So, so you could get with her? No. No, she's... she's not my type. What? She's not my type. Neither is any girl my type. Wait. But you are. You gotta be kidding. Oh, dude, check this out. I just stole three muffins from the bakery. Oh my god, you rookie. <laughs> huh? Let me show you how to do it the honest way. Follow me. Okay. Hey, you the owner here? Y yeah, why? Listen, I've got a magic trick for you. Like what? If I can make three of your muffins disappear and then reappear, I get them for free and I don't have to pay. Okay. Deal, go. What, are you gonna poop them out now? Is that the trick? Oh, no, no, no. Check my friend's bag. Good morning. Have a seat, please. Let me just say, dude, your resume here is uh, weak. <laughs> but let me get this straight. You invented walkie-talkies? I did. Huh. And you, you came up with that name all by yourself? I did, yes. What do you say we forget about this interview? And you and I just play a little game. If you win, the job's yours, all right? Here's how we're gonna play. I am going to splurt out a series of random words. If you can give me better names for these words on the spot, zero hesitation, you win. Sound easy enough? Yes, it does. Shall we begin? We shall. Bumblebee. Fuzzy buzzy. Hippopotamus. Floaty bloaty. Parrot. Wordy birdie. Fork. Stabby grabby. Spoon. Soupy scoopy. Pregnancy test. Maybe baby. Stamp, licky sticky, wig, hairy wary, defibrillator, hearty starty. Hey, lightning round, I'm gonna give you three in a row. You give me three in a row back, you're hired. You ready? Yep. Seat warmer, socks, microwave, seedy heedy, feedy heedy, heedy eedy. Welcome to the company. Your office is actually. Hey, how much for the books? 
It's $3 for one book or $10 for three books. Okay, here's $3. Give me one book, please. Here you go. Thanks. Um, here's another $3. Can you give me another book, please? Here you go. Thanks. And here's another $3. Can I have another book, please? Here you go. <sighs> you do realize that I just bought three books for $9. Are you dumb? This makes everyone buy three books instead of one. And this is the master bedroom. Any ghosts? Pardon? Are there any ghosts in the house? No, <laughs> there's no ghosts here. You sure? Yep, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> okay. You want ghosts? Yeah, well, I'm moving in on my own and I don't really know the area that well, so it'd be nice to have some friends, you know? Right, okay, well. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Hi there, any questions about the property I can help answer? I think your colleague has answered most of my questions, thanks. What colleague? I'll take it. Double fuck. Gary, mate. What's up, legend? Not to sound like a fucking nutcase, but I might walk on that sandy shit. Can't do that, mate. Fins don't work on that. Nah, no, I might just fucking do it. What does he mean? Fucking banter, bruv. Just dare me to fucking walk on that sandy All right, shit. Alright, walk on the sandy I'll shit. I'll fucking then. do it, then. Fucking hell, I give a fucking shit. He's a dead man. He's fucking, fucking dead come man. on, then. Come on, I'm gonna fucking do it, then. He's sending it. Come on. Alright, how is it then? Not being funny, mate. It's actually fucking sick up here. Fucking Wait, man. look at this. Oh. Fucking leg, bro. He's got legs now. Well, I'm jealous. <laughs> I might just fucking build internet and some shit. Fucking skyscraper or something. Mental. Wait, hold up. I guess walking in the same direction as my car. We can't go over there yet. So what? What do you mean? If we walk over there now, it'll look like we're following him. Here, pretend like we're talking in the middle of the parking lot. We are talking in the middle of the parking lot. Okay, fine. Pretend like you're coming on to me then. What? No, why do I have to do that? All right, whatever. I'll just come on to you then. Well, no, don't do that. Well, someone's got to come on somebody else or this isn't going to work. I'm not coming on anybody. What are you talking about? Whoa, no one ever said that, Scott. That said, I'm walking to your car. This is ridiculous. No, wait. Whoa, hey, are you following me? No, I'm just going to my car. Because at first I thought you were just talking to that guy in the middle of the parking lot, but I guess I was wrong. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, sir, are you following this man? What? No, I'm just going to my... Are you resisting arrest? Excuse me? Shots fired. I mean, I told him. So this first grade teacher was having problems with one of her students. So she said, Johnny, what's the problem? He said, I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in the third grade and I'm smarter than her. So she took Johnny to the principal office and explained the situation. The principal said, listen, Johnny, I'm going to ask you some questions. You've answered all of them right, you can go to the third grade. If you miss one, you're going back to the first grade. I don't want to hear your mouth no more. So he said, what's three times three? Say nine. What's six times six? Thirty-six. Went on for an hour, answered every question. So the teacher said, I don't see no reason why he can't go to the third grade. He answered every question. The teacher said, well, can I ask him a couple questions? The principal said, go ahead. She said, Johnny, what does a cow have four of that I only have two? He said, legs. She said, what do you have in your pants that I don't have in mine? The principal jumped up. Johnny said, pockets. She said, what does a dog do that a man steps into? He said, pants. She said, what starts with F and ends with K, but it means a lot of excitement? Johnny said, fire truck. The principal said, Shh. Man, put John in the fifth grade. Hell, I got the last four questions wrong myself. Hey, Cam, there's someone I would like you to meet. I'm playing the game right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's good, bro? I'm not your bro. Don't don't call me that. My fault, my fault. Would you rather be called Spanking the Baby? That hasn't been my gamer tag for six years. Huh? Yeah, I know. NBA 2K15. You dropped 18 points on me in the park and you was talking all that shit. And I told you I would fuck your sister. You see me now. I'll fuck up. In today's class, we will be solving for Brian in your seat now. He's not even here today, Miss P. Sorry, force of habit. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry. Good morning, Miss P. Sorry, I'm late. Turn around, attendance office, which makes X equal to what, Brian? Uh, 14. Jesus, do you listen to anything I say? But I thought you're that... disgusting. You know that, right? No, I thought that that. Becca? 14. Correct. Brian, why are you the only student not working right now? Because I finished. Oh, you did? Okay, let's see it. Okay, here. What? Start the... over. I shouldn't hear a peep out of anyone. This is a test, people, okay? Brian, detention. I heard breathing. Sarah, eyes on your own paper. Sorry. Thank you. Brian, I'm gonna gouge your eyes out with a butter knife. Everything is relative, okay? Time is relative. Wow. Space is relative. Oh my god. I married one of my relatives. As in, like, my first cousin. We're, we're married. You said this guy was brilliant. I said he has good ideas. Which ones do you think were good? You must understand that gravity is an attractive force. Okay. I feel an attractive force. At my family reunion. Why are you writing that down? Are you okay over here? How's your food? Uh, yeah, not great. I just found a hair in my food. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me get our guy to yell at. 
Wait, what? Oswald, get over here! What's what's going on? This guy just found a hair in his food, Oswald. That's disgusting. Yeah, well, all right, go ahead. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to yell at me. That's what I'm here for. I don't understand. Are you the manager? No, I'm just a guy, so... Go ahead, really let me have it. Uh, actually, it's not really that big of a deal. Do you want me to eat the hair? No, I don't want Do you that. want me to eat a bunch of my own hair while you're yelling at me? No, I don't want you to eat any hair at all. Sir, did you want to do more of a gentle scolding? Because I'll get the guy to gentle scold. What? No, I don't want the gentle scolding guy. I'm confused. You seem like you wanted to yell, and now you don't even want a gentle scold? Just forget it. Never mind. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey. Nice to meet you, too. I'm here to inform you that you've been drafted into the U.S. military due to the upcoming oh! work. Every fucking time! Welcome to heaven! Now what is your name? Hi, my name's Quack from the Duck Appreciation Society. Okay, well welcome Quack, how did you die? Well I was swimming with my friends blowing bubbles underwater when a jet ski came and hit me on the head! Well, that's unfortunate, but yes, in you go. Thank you, don't forget to join! Next in line please! What is your name and how did you die? Hi there, I'm Quack Quack from the Duck Appreciation Society and I was also blowing bubbles under the water, but I stayed under too long and drowned. Not the brightest bunch you lot, are you? But no, fine, in you go. Thanks a lot! Right, let me guess, your name is Quack Quack Quack? Oh no, I'm Bubbles. Three men die and go to heaven. God tells them, you all get different vehicles in heaven, and the more times you've cheated on your partner, the worse the vehicle. The first man says, oh, I've cheated on my wife ten times, so he gets a horse and buggy. The second man says, oh, I've cheated on my wife three times, so he gets a Mercedes. The third man says, oh, I've never cheated on my wife. So he gets a Lamborghini. Later that day, the man with the Mercedes finds the man with the Lamborghini. He, he looks very upset. He asks him, well, why are you so upset? You got the best car. He replies, I just saw my wife riding around on a skateboard. So how is it? Uh, it's all right. I need a little more hot sauce. Though. You're literally eating a whole bowl of hot sauce. How do you need more hot sauce? I don't care what I'm eating. It needs more hot sauce. Jesse, you've been in there for a while. Are you okay? My asshole is on fire. Hey, you uh, need some help? I'm a professional locksmith. Uh, sure, man. Yeah, I can use some help. Okay, I can uh, do for you for uh, $40. Uh, sure. Accessory. It's a little different than what I normally work with. I can uh, do for you for $100, okay? Uh? Uh, fine. Thank you. It's my house, bitch. Thank you for the money. To the loo, motherfucker. Martha, I'd like to ride on that plane. I know, Joe, but that plane ride costs $10, and $10 is $10. Martha, I'm 81 years old. If I don't ride in that plane this year, I may never get another chance. Joe, that plane ride costs $10, and $10 is $10. I'll make you guys a deal. I'll give you a ride in the plane, and if you stay quiet, it'll be free of charge. But if you say just one word, it'll be $10. Deal! Man, oh man, I did everything I could think of to get you guys to yell, but you didn't. Well, I was gonna say something when Martha fell out, but $10 is $10. <laughs> man, I'm starving. What are you getting, Tommy? Oh, I'm not getting anything. No. You're not getting anything? No, I, I ate before I came out. Yeah, I'm pretty full. Can you order for me? Why, w why would I do that? Um, I, I get nervous when they come over. Right, but I'm not gonna order food for you, though. You know? I, I'd get you some chips if you I'm order not, for I me. I don't want chips. Like I said, I wasn't hungry. I've already eaten, so... Please order for me. Harry, you're fucking 24. You can order your own bastard food. Oh, right then, lads. What do you want? I'm actually not that hungry, mate. Sorry. You'll have the chicken nuggets, please. Chick kids, there we go. Chicky nuggies, yeah. All right. Hey, Dad. What's up, sweetheart? I just wanted to let you know I'm dating someone. Ah, oh, fuck. Is he at least a good guy? He is, Dad. His name's Steven. All right. If you don't break your heart, I don't break his face. Hey, Dad. What's up, son? I just want to let you know I'm dating someone. Fuck yeah, you are. You take after your old man. Proud of you. Yeah. His name's Steven. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? Hi. Sorry. Uh... Excuse me. I have a boyfriend. Yeah. So do I. Hey, boyfriend. What's up? What's her problem? I don't know. I was just trying to ask for the time. She's being all mean. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Whoa, whoa. Relax. He has a boyfriend. Let's get out of here. Sorry about that, babe. It's not your fault you're so freaking handsome. Truth or dare? All right, truth. Why doesn't anyone like you? All right, dare. All right, I dare you to leave. Okay. You're so ugly. Why did you kill 88 people? 
Well, I was driving 60 miles per hour when all of a sudden I see two men start to use the crosswalk. So I slammed on my brakes, but they didn't work. And beside the road was a wedding party happening. So I either hit the two men or I run into the wedding party. You should have hit the two men. Exactly. After I hit the first man, the second man started running towards the wedding party, so I followed him. Oh! Help! I'm bleeding out! You need to apply pressure! Quit bleeding or I'm gonna kick your ass! That's too much pressure! If a stranger came to you and said, I'm your mom's friend and I'm here to pick you up, what are you supposed to say? Yeah, why are you? My mom don't have any friends. <gasps> Now remember guys, this house is at least 200 years old. Let's go check it out. If there are any spirits with me today, please show me a sign. Get the fuck out of my house. Did you hear that guys? I think we have to stay another night. Okay, I just finished playing with the Ouija board and the spirit specifically told me not to go to the cemetery. So I'm at the cemetery. There's no way I'm passing. Well, it's time to cheat off the smart kid. Oh my god. What? This is the most difficult test I've ever taken. Uh, do you mind signing this release form? Thanks. This pen doesn't work. Cause you may pray! <laughs> Where? Yeah, just just through there. There's no camera there. Cause you've been praying! <laughs> what is going on? You're not even recording this? Um, yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, it's just me. Ah. Shut up! I'm gonna kill you. What? Yeah. Is this a prank? Nope. You're not a killer? Yeah, I'm a serial killer. Any last words? Yeah. We are recording this. We got him. Cleared for takeoff in 10, 9. Yes, everything's in order here. See if my calculations are correct. 5, 4, but I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> hey there, welcome to the stomach. Uh, hey, oh my god, so this is when I start digesting and stuff? Yeah, and then we gonna head to the um, intestines, yeah. Okay. Hey, how are you? Oh, is, is that gum? Mm-hmm, chill. <laughs> How long you been in here? <laughs> this my third year, bitch. <laughs> I was about to say, you had to be here for a long ass time. <laughs> yeah, child, I've been giving him indigestion for three oh, years. Oh, 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 oh. That's because of me. <laughs> Ooh, my stomach. What's wrong with your stomach? You got a shit? No, my stomach just always doing Man, it. Man, you just need to go shit. He can shit all he wants to. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got four more years on my lease. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I was at work, right? Yeah. And this girl walks in, right. asking for an espresso iced latte. Oh, God. What happened? What I accidentally happened? gave her yeah. an espresso iced latte yeah. without an espresso. Um, <laughs> donut. Anyway, donut. anyway. Yeah. Sammy walks over. Does he? Yeah, you know, you know Sam? Yeah. What do you want? He goes and calls me a silly Billy. <laughs> it's not that funny. What? It's not that funny, is it? Um, what do you mean by that? Just, just a phrase, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get it. You were being mildly silly, but I wouldn't say you were being a silly Billy. It just uh, doesn't make sense, does it? Just um, get out. What? Just get out. Jackie. Just get out. That's oh. sick. Uh, Thrak, create fire! Fire hot! Fire neat, Thrak, but me invent club! Club for hit things with! Oh! Hello, friends! It seems that I have invented grammar! Thanks! Me and Thrak can communicate far more easily now that we have helping verbs and article adjectives. Thrak and I. <laughs> Everyone's kids are getting married except mine. Okay. Promise me you'll get married before I die. Yes, Ma, I will. Thank you. So am I allowed to date now? No. 
What the fuck? A man is watching TV when he hears a knock on his door. He opens it and it's a salesman. The salesman says, uh, Can I interest you in a toothbrush? Only $10. The man says, $10 for a toothbrush? That's insane. Absolutely not. The salesman then says, Well then, uh, could I interest you in a brownie? Only $1. The man says, Alright, why not? So he takes a bite from the brownie and immediately spits it out. He says, This tastes like crap! The salesman replies, It is! So, can I interest you in a toothbrush? Truth or dare? Truth. Explain to me why you picked truth. Because I'm afraid if I pick dare, you're going to ask me to do something crazy, like shit off the balcony. I don't want to do that. I just want to have a few laughs and have some fun. Now your turn. Truth or dare? Truth. Explain why you picked truth. Because I want to have a chance to explain to you that the fun of truth or dare comes with the risk. And if you only pick truth, you get rid of that and the game is no fun anymore. So, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to shit off the balcony. So, what is it you think you can bring to this company? Just give me the job, man. I'm sorry? You don't know what you're looking for. The questions are crap and you're a fool in a cheap suit. That took guts, kid. I love it. Welcome aboard. What? That's a terrible reason to hire someone. You're an idiot. No one talks to me like that. But they should. You got a raise. For what? You can't go around giving raises like that. It's financially reckless. You're gonna drive this company into the ground, you moron! Promoted! What is wrong with you? You're unhinged! You got no idea how to run a business, your breath smells terrible, and your wife is ugly! You got chutzpah, kid. Oh my god. How would you like to be the CEO? You're fired. What? Get out. You're gonna regret this. Is that a threat? Yeah. You got guts, kid. Welcome aboard. Piss off. Promoted. You and me, pal. We're gonna take this company sky high. Ah, <sighs> what a beautiful day. Oh, let me give him some time to walk. Actually, freak this old man. He's probably so old I can punch him and he'll die. I'll move out the way, you frail old fool. Oh, have a nice day, young man. You remind me of when I was young, but now my days are coming to an end. Yeah, have a, have a nice day. And I'm a horrible human being. I don't deserve to be alive. Why does my brain say these things? Hey Google, I've got an itch. An itch, is it? Oh shit, where is it, mate? Just on the shoulder. Oh, not the fucking shoulder. Oh no! That's fucking cancer, that is, mate. What? Yeah, you're gonna have to, let me check. Do -do 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 -do. Amputate it. Fuck! Yeah, you're gonna have to amputate that right away. Oh lord. Hey, I've got a pain in my side. Oh, not the bloody side. Which side, mate? It's my left side. Not yeah. the left! Oh shitting heck! That's the worst side to have it in, actually, mate. Thinking about it's my right side, actually. Yeah, that's what I meant. The right side is the real killer. You, got, you haven't got long to live, mate. Oh, how long left? Ooh, about three. Three, three what? Two. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I saw that. I'm gonna tell the teacher. You would never, you're a pussy. Oh yeah, I'll watch this. Bitch, stop. I was kidding. Yes? Can I go to the bathroom? Ha, <laughs> pussy. See the game last night, Cole. That rash yeah, no, goal. Just, Sorry, mate. I'm just logging in my Gmail. Who the fuck do you think you oh, are, boy? Yeah, you know. Listen, the grip next time, buddy. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. looking to my MacBook. Of course, please. mate. Provided that you've you've logged on there before, have you? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't when I first met your grandfather, he threw me into the boot of his car and drove me up to the old lookout. God, he was a romantic. He loved me so much that he made me drop out of high school the very next week and marry him on the spot. Oh, God, he made me laugh. He didn't even let me leave the house for the first couple of years because he was scared that I'd run off or something. And he was smart too because I probably would have. But after a few years, I just gave in. Oh. A woman walks into a rooftop bar and sits next to a guy. What are you drinking? She asks the guy. Magic beer, he says. Oh yeah, what's so magical about it? Then he shows her. He drinks some beer, dives off the roof, flies around the building, and then finally returns to his seat. Oh my god, the woman says. Let me try some of that. She drinks some of the beer, leaps off the roof, and dies. The bartender shakes his head. You know, you're a real jerk when you're drunk, Superman. Where the uh, Hi, excuse me. Yeah? Yeah, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, you don't know. We're about to get stoned. Wait, we're about to... <laughs> oh, this is my kind of hangout. I like you, I like you guys. Who's got the paper? Now aim, throw. <laughs> oh? 
Now aim for the weird looking skinny one. Oh, uh, no, no, there's been a misunderstanding. Oh yeah, here we go. What's that? It's my seven day juice cleanse, bro. I'm about to be a f***ing specimen after this. Ah, bro, how much did that shit cost you? Only like 110. Dude, you're a f***ing idiot. What? You paid $110 for something your body does naturally. You don't need f***ing vegetable juice to detoxify. You have a liver for that. <sighs> Not after Mexico. <laughs> because she had no teeth, I call her gummy. <laughs> and then, and then, and I'm gonna run to the store. Do you want anything? Chuck, you have to let me go. You can come if you want. I'm not real, Chuck. I'm just a memory. Dude, don't say that about yourself. No. The accident wasn't your fault. Oh, you mean like with the slip and slide? Yeah, with the slip and slide. No, yeah, that was a bad place for a slip and slide. That's my bad. So yeah, so it kind of was your fault, but you have to move on now or whatever. All right, I'm going to go to the store then. Okay, store guy. Are you like mad at me? No, Mr. Store Man. You want me to get you a snack at the store? I can't eat snacks. I am a figment of your imagination. Oh, damn. That's my bad too. Yeah. So, like, are you gonna be here when I get back? I don't know! That is literally up to you! I'm a metaphor! Right. We can chill. You could, like, throw on a movie or something. Can we watch Paddington? We could watch Paddington. I love that little bear. Do you have eyes on the target? Yes, sir. The person on the right. He is my son. You are to protect him at all cost. He's my only son. Hello? Yeah, well, I'm doing carpentry at the moment, so I bought some new tools. Oh, no way, nice. What brand did you go with? Have you heard of Jenna? Oh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of them. Yeah, my Jenna tool's broken half. <clears throat> so, um, uh, me and my wife are having triplets, by the way. Oh, shit, congrats. Yeah, but well, she wants to name them Katie, Kylie, and Kelly. I'm just not sure because they all begin with K. So I'm like, no, they're nice. I quite like the KKK. Okay, what the fuck is... I'm going to go, guys. I think I'm going to go. It's getting quite dark, so head home. And what do we say when somebody says hello to us and we haven't had our coffee yet? Get away from me before I destroy your life. Okay, and what do we say to them after we've had our coffee? Hey, good morning. How are you? Ha <laughs> ha, this masterpiece is finally done. Now I gotta work on my presentation. Hey class, how are we doing? Hopefully better than me right now. <laughs> hey class, uh, how, how are we doing today? Good, uh, <laughs> hopefully better than me. <laughs> um, so my presentation is on the benefits of strength training. Fellas, you're gonna love this one. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. My presentation is on, uh, what was it on again? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the, the benefits of um, strength training uh, for the boys, <laughs> right? <laughs> this right here is a dumbbell. But it's not just any dumbbell. It's the dumbbell I started my journey off with. I'm becoming the next Larry Wheels. Ha! I am on fire right now! Oh, moving on, um... Oh, shoot. Uh, I think I left my prop at home. Minus 20 points? Oh, no. Um, so I, I, I was gonna bring a dumbbell for you guys. Strength training has many health benefits. But the best benefit of them all is the looks you get from the ladies. Strength training is, is uh, benefits great for, uh, for the ladies. Ah, you suck, dude. I just killed you twice in a row. Dude, shut up. You just got lucky. Can you two stop arguing for once? All I ever hear in here is you two bickering. Knock it off! Honey, I'm home from work. What's that smell? Honey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little hot. What are you doing? I wanted to prove to you that not all blondes are dumb, so I painted the house. Okay, but why are you wearing two layers of jackets? Because on the paint can, it said for best results, put on two coats. If you put a nail in a hole, shut up. And you hammer it, shut up. It might not go all the way in the first time, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was toxic, but I still feel like I could change him, you know? Like, I see the pot- You know, there's a song that totally represents what you're going through. Ooh, what is it?
Hey, you want to play board games when your mom gets home? Yeah, can I call Chad? Why can't blind Adam play? He's blind. So what? Remember when we played Go Fish? Okay, do I you can see your cards. Okay. I can still see your cards. Go Fish. That's not how this- Or when we played Jenga? Watch a master. We never got past the first round. Huh? Whoops. Up. How about when we played Pictionary? Is it is it spaghetti? Spaghetti? No, keep guessing, keep guessing. Are they shoelaces? Shoelaces. He's I don't know what it is. And time. It was horse. You know, like when you're riding on a horse, or however you, I don't know how you ride a horse. Well, I better get going. I'll come visit again tomorrow, okay? Don't worry, darling. You won't have to deal with this for much longer. Bye. Hey, officer. You need to give my husband a break from working so hard. He's exhausted. <laughs> Are you kidding? All he does is eat, sleep, and stays in his cell. Don't lie to me. He told me he's been digging a tunnel for months. Oh! Siri, I lost my job today. Can you tell me a joke to make me feel better? Okay, sure. What's the difference between you and an extra large pizza? I don't know what. An extra large pizza can feed a family. <laughs> I'm just laying in bed. I'm really bored. I don't know what to do. Yeah, what's up? This might be a dumb question. No, but... hey, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Come on. Really? No dumb questions. Right, yeah. Before I proceed, are you sure about this? Yeah. Okay, David, didn't you have a question? Yeah, I did. Would you still love me if I was a worm? What? Oh, Sorry, no, that, that must have been a dumb question. No, I just... Who did you vote for? I won't answer that. Yeah, because maybe it's dumb. No, where because... does the sun go at night? I mean, you said that there are no... I know what I said. What is wind? Why don't my parents sleep in the same bed? What's your deal? Just say they're dumb questions and we'll stop. These aren't dumb questions. Humans are just curious creatures. Fine. David, would you do the honors? It's a dumb question. Of course I will. Hey, Teach. Does it smell like up dog in here? What's up dog? Hey, son. What up, huh? Where your report card at? Thought y'all was supposed to be bringing them home today. Oh, uh, uh, the, the teacher said she'd giving them out next week. That's all you got? Well, 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 I thought I did. Had it in my book bag until you lost it. Uh, 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 matter of fact, I don't even think she passed them out. Dad. Son. Pick a up. Hey, what's up, babe? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now remember, children under the age of eight do eat for free, so... Oh, oh, it's a perfect, okay? My son also is a uh, seven. What? Dad, I'm 23. Yes, sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a seven, okay? Ask him. Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? <sighs> yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm seven. Hi, he eat free, okay? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck this job. Why should we hire you? Because I need to pay rent. Excuse me? Because because I always wanted to work at McDonald's and become a cashier. What does going above and beyond for the company mean to you? It means nothing to me. Minimum wage, minimum effort, period. Excuse me? It means doing everything I can to ensure customer satisfaction. What would you do if an angry customer spilled the drink on the floor? I would mop the floor. Oh, good. good. I would mop the floor with that mother Excuse me? So your girlfriend keeps telling you everything's fine, even though you know she's annoyed about something. Well, here's what you're gonna do. Step one, you're gonna tell your girlfriend she needs to start picking up shit with a plastic bag. Because you're finally ready to adopt that cute little dog she's always wanted, and you've booked an appointment at the rescue center for six o'clock tonight. Step two, you head straight to the rescue center, say hi to some dogs, tell the staff you're looking for something cute, friendly and ready to party, and then throw yourself and your girlfriend directly onto the conveyor belt, heading straight towards the cremation furnace. Oh, my mistake, looks like we're heading towards the furnace. I do what we don't burn alive, but then again, maybe it's completely fine. Maybe it's all just completely fine. Maybe ending our lives in a blazing inferno is just completely fine. Get ready, girlfriend, here we go. Step three, your girlfriend finally admits there is something wrong. You jump off the conveyor belt, head back home, and have a tasty lasagna. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. What is this? Dad, 
I bet you can't say Coca-Cola without your lips touching each other. Um, oh, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I did it. Now say it normally. Coca-Cola. See? Your lips didn't even touch. Boom! Wake up, filthy. Aw, oh, let me help you cross. Oh, shit! There you go. So your mate made the same joke as you, but this time slightly louder. And now the whole room thinks he's the king of comedy. Well, here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your mate to get naked. And put on their wetsuit, cause you're gonna take him on an underwater diving adventure at the Great Barrier Reef. Step two, you head to the Great Barrier Reef, take a couple selfies, get into your diving gear, and dive down as deep as you fucking can. And as soon as you and your mate reach the maximum diving depth of 130 feet, you rip the oxygen tank right from his thieving little back. You listen here, you stinky little world. If you wanna get out of this action-packed underwater adventure alive, you're gonna promise me one thing and one thing only. You will never, ever, 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 ever steal my Again. Step three, your mate apologizes for stealing your jokes, promises to never do it again, you hold his hand, and you swim him all the way back up to the surface. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Dad, it's coming right for us! Relax. Kangaroos are herbivores. They only eat vegetables. Alright, you have three wishes. What do you want to wish for? Uh... Oh, can you kill the person I hate the most? Yeah, I can do that, but are you sure that's what you want? Yeah, I fucking hate that bitch. So annoying. Okay, your wish is my command. Oh, thank God, fine. Whoop, whoop. What was that? What you mean? Whoop, whoop, the noise. What was that about? That's the sound a car makes when you lock it. It's not even locked! Yeah, but a potential car thief would have heard me and decided not to rob the car. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. No, he's right. I was considering robbing the car and I heard him lock it, so I decided not to. But he didn't lock it! Yeah, now I know that because whoop, whoop. I- Ah, never mind. I've located the bomb. Oh, good! How much time until it detonates? Uh, how would I know that? There should be a big red digital display right in the middle showing exactly how much time we have to defuse it. There's not one. What?! Why would the person who made the bomb want us to have that information? Oh, you're right, that's a good point, actually. What do I do? Well, okay, okay, I can tell by how fast the bomb is beeping. We probably only have a few seconds left before it detonates. Hold on, let me turn this off real quick. What'd you say? What did you just do? My watch was beeping, so I turned it off. So the bomb wasn't beeping. Tech, it's a hidden bomb. Why would it be? Ah! Okay, never mind, just cut the red wire. There is no red wire. Oh my god! Have you done this before? Screw it, just cut the first wire. Was that a random guess? No. My whole life depends on this, man. Do you not get I'm that? I'm sorry, man. I've had a really stressful day so far, and in my defense, this is nothing like the movie. Are you serious? Action movie directors should really do better research. I am going to die! You can't get infinite wishes? Easy. Yo, Simon Genie, I'll grant you two wishes. But no wishing for my wishes, and no wishing for my genies. Now, what will it be? I simply just wish for a notebook and a pencil. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Granted. But I'm not gonna let you just write anything you want down in the notebook and then wish for everything in the notebook to come true. What? No, I wasn't gonna wish for anything like that. That's just mean. I wish for the superpower to be able to draw anything I want in the notebook and for that drawing to come to life. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool wish, actually. <laughs> Granted. So tell me, what's the first thing you're gonna draw? Well, if you must know, I'm going to draw a genie. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, my name is Nate. I'm also Nate. Okay, how can I help you? Uh, we're here for the job opening. But there's only one position available. <sighs> I told you. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it's unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, he's... Okay, what are some of your good qualities? W well, the doctor always calls me patient. Today is the execution of Sir Lucas the Third. You, the audience, may choose his death. Off with his head! Okay, he shall give head to every man in this what? room. No! That's not what they said! <laughs> Dad, you should have been at school today. Why? What happened? It was crazy. Well, tell me what happened. We were taking a test, and the teacher got up to uh, leave the room, and she left the answers to the test on her desk. So everybody got up and started cheating. Like, everybody was getting up and looking at the answers just so they could get an A. But guess who stayed back at their desk? You did. No, my friend Julia. I said, bitch, come get these answers. You thought it was me that stayed back? I was, I was hoping. Heck no, I was the first one to notice she left the answers there. I was like, oh, answers, answers, bitch left. Hello, I'm calling from room 252 and I'd like to order a sandwich. Hello, I'm calling from, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Hello? I'm a sandwich. A guy walks up to a bar and asks the bartender, how much for a beer? 
The bartender says, it's free. The guy is really happy and says, okay, how much for a sirloin, some mashed potatoes, a salad, and an entire cheesecake for dessert? The bartender says, one dollar. The guy says, okay, I'll take it all, and the bartender gives him his food. After he's done eating, he says, wow, this place is amazing. I'd like to meet the owner. The bartender says, oh, he's upstairs in the office with my wife. The guy gets confused and says, what's he doing upstairs in the office with your wife? The bartender smiles and says the same thing I'm doing to his business. How to tell if a girl likes you or not. And I only got a minute, so listen closely. So I've been talking to this girl for a while that I met off Minecraft, but I can't tell if she likes me or not. So I knew I had to do something about it. I hired several buff male models off Craigslist to hit on her throughout the day to see if she was loyal to me. But I wasn't too worried. I had a good feeling she liked me. But what happened next shocked me. She got with every single one of the buff male models. One of them even already had plans to marry her. But little did they know, this was my plan all along. I've always hated buff male models because they make me feel insecure about myself. What they didn't know was I was never talking to a girl in the first place. I hired a girl off Craigslist to pose as underage so I could get all the buff male models sent to jail. But this wasn't enough. I hired someone to get arrested on purpose so they could beat the shit out of the buff male models in jail. You could say my life's pretty crazy. And now you're ready to go skydiving. Any questions? What if the parachute fails? Incredibly unlikely, but your instructor is equipped with a reserve parachute. What if that one fails? Margaret? Cancel my three. I need answers. Get me the mayor. Well, you can take those rules and shove them up your ass. <clears throat> so we've made some modifications and there's now a third parachute. What if that one fails? Cancel my six. Get me the congressman. To hell with the rules. We've added a fourth parachute. What if that one fails? Cancel it. Get me the president. Damn the rules. A fifth parachute. What if that one fails? Fuck. Get me the pope. Hey, fuck you, pal. Another one. What if the mayor's up my ass? Seven. What if that one fails? Seems unlikely. Okay, it says here that you have asthma, is that correct? Yeah, on my dad's side. Oh, well that is weird. Because people usually get it in the lungs. <laughs> Which is where your cancer is spread. A man was speeding down the road when he looked in his mirror and seen red and blue lights flashing. The man speeds up to 120 miles an hour and then he thinks to himself, what am I doing? I'm too old for this. He pulls over and waits for the cop's arrival. The cop pulls up behind him, walks up to the car, looks at his watch and says, sir, my shift ends in 30 minutes. If you can give me a good reason for speeding that I've never heard before, I'll let you go. The guy looks at the cop and says, sir, three years ago, my wife ran away with a cop. I thought you were bringing her back. The cop looks at the guy with a big smile and says, have a good day, sir. Pardon me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Oh, he can't talk. He's mute. Oh, sorry. Tell me about it. <gasps> <gasps> Do you want a coffee? Does the Queen of England lay an egg on Christmas Day? I, I, I don't know. Does she? She does. Okay. Are you going to stay for dinner? Does Jupiter have 52 named moons? Great, I'll, I'll set the table. Jupiter's 53 named moons. Why are you like this? Yeah. Are you going to Hannah's birthday on Saturday? Do I eat my own shit? I'll, I'll, I'll tell her you won't be able to make it. I love eating my own shit. Stop right there! Where is the little girl? Where, what, what girl? Keep your hands up. I said, where is the little girl? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you trying to screw with us? No, no, I'm just... Shut your mouth. Where is the little girl? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> what? 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, there's someone in my house. Okay, sir, we need a description. It's a girl. Do you like her? LOL, maybe. Oh my god, I wonder where his zodiac sign is. Oh, she's for sure a Scorpio. Uh, per, go talk to her. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, 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 okay. I wonder why she's breaking into your house. I know, right? Like, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> Period. Oh my god, wait, she's walking up to me. I'm freaking out. Uh, okay, girl, you got this. Don't freak out. Hey, cutie. <laughs> oh, fuck! She shot me in my nutsack! Oh my god, that's giving Gemini. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Right? <laughs> ah, fuck! All right, so you said this is your first driving lesson, right? Yeah, sorry if I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, I'm here to get you comfortable behind the wheel. In due time, you'll- Wait, 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 yeah, stop, yeah, stop, wait, stop! Wait, wait, wait. What? 
Can you believe gas prices these days? I mean, look at that sign. It says six bucks. Oh, Jeez. God. I, I thought I did something wrong. No, nah, you're doing great, man. I just wanted to... Wait, wait, wait. Ah, stop, what, stop, what? stop. What? We're not moving. Oh, good. Sorry. I forgot to take my medication today. Everything's spinning around. <laughs> what? All right. Just uh, pick up my kids from soccer practice and we can wrap this up. Pick up your kids? Yeah, and don't mention their mom left me yesterday. I didn't know that. Now hit the gas and never look back. <laughs> just like Sheila didn't. Olive oil is made from olives. And vegetable oil is made from vegetables. What is baby oil made of? Hey, Tony, this is my friend Mark. Hey. Mark, this is my other friend Tony. Hey. Oh, crap, the game is about to start. Hey, I I'll be right back. I got a surprise for y'all. Hey, I like your shirt. Oh, thanks. It's, um, it it's Spider-Man. Huh. I, I like your shirt, too. Oh, it's, um, Kirby. Um, he's my main in Smash. Y you play Smash? But, yeah, I do. But Greg doesn't play video games like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not a fan of superheroes, either. <laughs> yeah, he says it's for losers. He keeps telling me to grow up. <laughs> Same here. Honestly, he's so stuck up. <laughs> right? That's what I was saying. He probably had a boring child. Or maybe he was homeschooled. He probably had strict parents. <laughs> or no parents. <laughs> We're probably his only friend. That's so sad. <laughs> Why are we even friends with him anyway? Yeah, I don't even watch sports. Hey, you want to get out of here? Uh, yeah, maybe we'll play Smash. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. Hey, honey, how about you come in here and meet my new boyfriend? Not now, Mom. I'm busy. Hey, Champ. How are you? Oh, you don't like Champ? How about Kingslayer 14? I've not used that name in years. Oh, I know. Ten years ago, Modern Warfare 2, you drop shot me. I said I'd bang your mom. You said there's no way. But here I am. No. Scapple? Give me the anesthesia. <laughs> the anesthesia? Uh, sorry, doctor. There's only one injection available here. But we only need one. I already gave it to you. When? When you just asked me. Oh. Shit. I think the anesthesia's working now. This woman tells her husband that if he walks all over her clean kitchen floors again after she mopped, she was going to kill him. A couple days later, she's mopping. What does he do? He gets up. He goes into the kitchen to get a drink. He's got his dirty shoes on. So he tracks mud and dirt all over those beautifully wet clean mopped floors. He tracks that out into the living room. He sits down. What does she do? She goes up to the bedroom, goes in the closet, grabs the gun, walks downstairs, shoots him dead in his recliner. She calls 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, well, I told my husband that if he uh, walked all over my perfectly mopped kitchen floors again, that I was going to kill him. He didn't believe me, so I did it. So they send an ambulance and a whole bunch of cops. While this is all going on, the chief of police hears this call and he thinks it's a little strange. So he goes to the scene of the crime. When he gets there, he sees all these cops standing outside the house. He walks up, he goes, guys, what are you doing? Why don't you go in there and arrest this woman? And they go, chief, we can't. The floors are still wet. Eight things mothers hate. One, when you go out. Two, when you don't go out. Three, when you eat too much. Four, when you eat too little. Five, when you sleep too much. Six, when you don't sleep enough. Seven, when you answer her question. And eight, when you don't answer her question. Einstein is driving to a conference. He tells the driver, I hate these conferences. I always say the same thing at every one. The driver says, yeah, I've been to all of them and I practically memorized everything you say. Einstein says, I, I have an idea. Why don't you take my place? So they switch clothing and the driver gets onto the stage and starts giving the normal speech. But in the crowd, there's this one scientist who wants to impress everyone. So he asks a very hard science question. The driver responds, I, a question is so easy, I'm going to have my driver answer it for me. Hey, yo, you think we killed everybody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. What about this one? Shit, he looked dead to me. We got to make sure he is. Hey, tickle his feet, cuz. What? Tickle his feet. Are you serious right now? No, I'm serious, bro. Just tickle his feet. Trust me. All right, man. He alive. No, wait, he, wait, hey, wait, shoot wait, his ass. All right, now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I, I think this is a misprint or something. This, cause. Uh... Hey, hey, And before you give me any of your wishes, I've heard it all. Don't wish for more wishes. I don't want to bring anyone back from the dead. And I can't kill anybody, okay? That's it? Those are your only rules? Why are you saying it like that? Yes, those are my only rules. Oh, no, no reason. 
No reason at all. What are you writing down? What are you doing? What's going on here? I'm just making a list of some things that I want. That's like seven things already. I told you, don't wish for more wishes. I'm not wishing for more wishes. Um, so I wish that everything on this piece of paper would come true. You son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, are you the guy that can only hear every second word? What? Shit. R R U U that that guy guy that that can can only only hear hear every every second second word word every second 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 word hate my life three men are in the middle of a desert when their car breaks down for their hike to town they each take one thing with them one man takes a jug of water the second man takes a sandwich the last man takes one of the car doors the first man says to the last man I'm bringing water because if I get thirsty I can take a drink and it makes sense to bring a sandwich in case we get hungry but uh, why bring a car door? The last man replies, well, if it gets hot, I can just roll down the window. A blonde wife is sick and tired of her husband making blonde jokes and saying she's stupid, so when he goes off to work, she decides, I know what to do. I'm gonna paint the three rooms in the house to prove him wrong. When he comes home, he finds her on the bedroom floor wearing two jackets and sweating. So he asks her, are you okay? What's going on? She gets up slowly, walks over to him and says, I was reading the directions on the paint can and it said for best results, put on two coats. You see how I can't scan myself? It's cause I'm priceless. Or you're not worth anything. Oh. Hello friend, I'm your genie. You have three wishes, go. I wish that every time somebody said, I don't understand, they would shit out a copy of Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on PS2. That's, that's like weirdly specific. You've thought about this before, haven't you? Are you gonna grant the wish or what? Fine, but I gotta tell you, I don't understand. Ugh! 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 Ow, you're a horrible person. All right, so for my next- No, no more wishes, you're done. What, why? I don't understand. Oh! Hey, bro, you want to hear a joke? Yeah. <clears throat> Yo, mama's so fat. My mom's dead. Yo, daddy's so. He killed my mom. Uh, oh, your dog is so. He killed my dog too. Your uncle. Him too. Dude. And he took my virginity. Hold up, your dad or your uncle? Yes. Dude, your dad is a criminal. Yep, he's a bad man. Who is he? The head of the mafia? Yes. He is also responsible for the coronavirus and opioid crisis. Excuse me. Hey, what can I do for you today? Hey, um, yesterday I purchased a boomerang from here, and it turned out to be faulty. Faulty? Yeah. Um, okay. Where is it? I have no idea. Right. Because, you know, when you throw a boomerang, it's always meant to come... So your girlfriend keeps telling you everything's fine, even though you know she's annoyed about something. Well, here's what you're gonna do. Step one, you're gonna tell your girlfriend she needs to start picking up shit with a plastic bag. Because you're finally ready to adopt that cute little dog she's always wanted and you've booked an appointment at the rescue center for six o'clock tonight. Step two, you head straight to the rescue center, say hi to some dogs, tell the staff you're looking for something cute, friendly and ready to party, and then throw yourself and your girlfriend directly onto the conveyor belt, heading straight towards the cremation furnace. Oh, my mistake, looks like we're heading towards the furnace. I do hope we don't burn alive, but then again, maybe it's completely fine. Maybe it's all just completely fine. Maybe ending our lives in a blazing inferno is just completely fine. Get ready, girlfriend, here we go. Step three, your girlfriend finally admits there is something wrong. You jump off the conveyor belt, head back home, and have a tasty lasagna. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. You like your popcorn sweet or salty? I want them just like her. <laughs> Jake, you're embarrassing. We don't do ugly popcorn. We just have sweet and salty. All right, son, this is a lie detector. It's going to beep every time you're not telling the truth. So I'll ask you again. Were you at school today? I already told you, Dad. Yeah, of course I was. You sure about that? Okay, okay, okay. I went and had a beer with my friends. You see, this is the kind of behavior I'm talking about. I was never drinking at your age. <laughs> well, I guess he really is your son. <laughs> Honey? What the f What you doing? I'm trying to tell if you can see without your glasses. Give me back my glasses. You have to tell me if you can see first. Obviously, I'm looking right at you. But, but you're not. 
I'm not playing these games. Now you're yelling at a chair. You want to talk about this? I'm so glad we could finally hang out today. Aw, you're so sweet. Itzel, can I tell you something? Yeah, what's up? I really like you. Aw, me too. Wait, really? Yeah. As a friend. Actually, as a best friend. A brother. Mm, no, my dad. Are you okay? Oh, where am I? You're in the friend zone, my guy. No! You're one of us now. I've been here for 13 years. No! I'll probably never get married. You know, I actually married my best friend. Really? Don't even think about it. We don't have to do it, but I'm still gonna think about it. See what you started. Dude, you're right. This place is pretty creepy. Whoa, I found a note. Whoa, was that blood? There's a lot of writing, but the last sentence says, Oh my gosh, it's here. Something about family. It's running towards me. Ah. Uh... Wait, he wrote ah as he was screaming? I guess so. Oh my god, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, you're probably right. My name is Mark Harris, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. However, luckily I've spent the last five years teaching myself how to write notes under extreme stress. Now it's finally coming in handy. Unfortunately, I've now developed a weird quirk where I write out everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. All I know is that whoever finds this note will be able to save my family before the beast gets to them too. All I know is that my pregnant wife and unborn child will be safe. And I know whoever gets this note will ensure their safety. Oh my god, it's here. If you're reading this, call this number to warn my family before it gets to them too. Oh god, now it's running at me. <laughs> 